Association, Rodrigo Silvi Souza, Vice President Market, and Cesar Pereira, uh, Vice President Sales and Market, Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Um, before we start, my name is Nicolas Morel. I'm from the uh, Embraer Communications team, and I will uh, introduce quickly the uh, the agenda for the day. We will cover the commercial aviation market outlook, followed by a sales announcement and a Q and A. So I handle now the word for Aaron Mayer. Thank you. Uh Thank you, Nicolas, and uh, welcome everyone here. Good afternoon. Um, I'm glad to be here in person with uh, Rodrigo and with uh, Cesar. Um, it's about time that we do another uh, real life air show internationally here in Dubai. So we're very happy it takes place and that we can have a real press conference here with all of you. Um, it's, an, uh, it's an important time for Embraer. I think it's fair to say that. Uh, uh, the market seeing uh, a lot of attention in terms of the smaller aircraft being used through the crisis and climbing out of the crisis. Um, we're very focused on the future. Uh, we believe sustainability is going to be a big uh, topic for the years ahead. And um, I'm sure many of you saw last week the Embraer announcement that we did on the Energia family. So there's a lot of things happening in the kitchen of Embraer. Um, but of course, also our normal uh, activities continue, and uh, one of those activities is our annual market outlook update. And we're, uh, we're very pleased to be to, to be here today with you. Um, and uh, Rodrigo will uh, will take the first point on the agenda and uh, run us together with you through the outlook as we see it in the next 20 years ahead of us. Is our forecast before the pandemic in terms of what would be the demand for travel? And at the bottom, we have the real data, data points plus the projection for the next two years. And you see that uh, the projection takes us to an industry by uh, close to 2040 that is around 20% smaller than what we forecasted before. This is mainly due to, first, a slower economic growth. So when we look at the uh, 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 economic growth forecast before the COVID, we had a, an average of 2.8% per year, and now uh, post COVID, most uh, institutions that forecast world GDP uh, are forecasting at a lower pace, 26 and this of course has a direct influence in the passenger demand. About 70% of our projected growth is related to this new uh, economic growth rate. The other 30% that affects our forecast is due to new trends we are, we are identifying in the industry and I, I'm going to show in a moment. 